Hey man. I hear you been talking to my woman Misha. Your woman? Thas right my woman. You heard me. Well we study history together that's all. Oh yeah like what? African history. African history. Don't make me laugh. Why, did you ever hear about the Dagan tribe of West Africa? No. West African tribe known as the Dagan who live in the Bandiagara cliffs of southeastern Mali startled the scientific world in the 1950s when it was discovered that their priests have had extremely complex knowledge of astronomy for at least 700 years. They have known for centuries about the rings of Saturn, the moons of Jupiter, the spiral structure of the Milky Way galaxy, and intricate details about the stars including their mass and orbits. Much of the complex astrological knowledge that the Dogen have had since the 13th century either cannot be confirmed by modern scientists or was not discovered until the 20th century. Kenneth Brecker of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology was dumbfounded and stated bluntly, the Dogen have no business knowing any of this. Robert Temple, an acclaimed member of the Royal Astronomical Society, speculates in his book The Serious Mystery that space beings from the Sirius star system must have brought this marvelous knowledge down to the Africans. Two French anthropologists, Marcel Grioul and Germain Dieterlin, lived and worked with the Dagen from 1931 to 1956 and eventually became so loved and trusted that they were initiated into the tribe. After 16 years of stage-by-stage -stage initiations, the Dagen called a conference and revealed to these Europeans their intimate secret knowledge of the solar system that was eventually recorded in a book entitled The Pale Fox. The Frenchmen were told that our solar system consists of a fixed star with planets rotating around this star and moons rotating around the planets. They said a force we describe as gravity was responsible for holding the planets and moons in place. The Dogen gave names and a complete description of the properties and behavior of the planets, moons, and fixed stars such as Polaris, Sirius, and the Pleiades. Mars for example, was called Yapunutol meaning planet of menstruation perhaps because of its red color. A calendar based on the six positions or phases of Venus determined when the Dogen would plant and harvest their food for best results, however, no aspect of Dogen knowledge has created more astonishment than their description of the properties of the star known as Sirius B, Potalo to the Dogen. You be telling Misha all this stuff? Well finish about the dog tribe. Yeah it's Dogen tribe, anyway. It is incomprehensible to modern scientists how the Dogen could know so much about Sirius B, an invisible star to the naked eye, located 51 trillion miles away. The Frenchmen were told that Sirius B is the sky's tiniest and yet heaviest star and has a 50-year elliptical orbit around Sirius A, the brightest star in the sky. The Dogen said that this dwarf star, Sirius B, is the most important star and the origin of all other stars, and that it is composed of a metal heavier and brighter than iron. Although Sirius B is invisible to the naked eye, the Dogen have chosen a new astronomer priest every 60 years when the orbits of Sirius B, Jupiter, and Saturn come into synchronization. A ceremony called the Siga is held, and a mask is carved to celebrate this 60-year event. Grayaul and Dieterlin said they were shown a cave in Ibi, Mali that contained 12 Siga ceremonial masks, which would date the ceremonies back to the 13th century. The first Western report of Sirius B was not until 1862 by Alvin Clark who observed the companion star through his new telescope. The Dogen told of several other companion stars around Sirius A that were not confirmed by modern astrophysicists until 1979 with the Einstein Orbiting Observatory. The Dogen also have an annual Bato celebration that honors the one-year period in which Sirius B rotates on its own axis. Modern scientists still cannot confirm this one-year rotation on its own axis. Re you listening? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw a fine honey walk by. But I'm listening. Charles Finch in his book, entitled The Star of Deep Beginnings says that the Dogen have never been proven wrong in any of their descriptions of the properties and behavior of Sirius B, and that they are also probably correct in calling Sirius B the mother of all stars. Finch says that Sirius B is as old as the universe, 12 billion years, and the closest star to our solar system. Moreover, 
he states since all newborn stars, like our sun, are created from older stars, our solar system including Earth and everything in it may owe its very existence to Sirius B as the dog and say, the advanced scientific knowledge of the dog and makes them the most astonishing and enigmatic people in all Africa. Hunter Adams III of the Argonne National Laboratory admits that in certain domains of astronomy and cosmology the dog and have no historical peers. He says there is nothing remotely similar to the knowledge of the Dagon in the literature of the ancient Egyptians, Sumerians, Greeks, Chinese, and medieval Arabs. It's truly a shame that entrenched Western racist attitudes towards African scientific knowledge can only attribute Dagon knowledge to the presence of space aliens. Unfortunately, most agree with Robert Temple of the Royal Astronomical Society of Great Britain that space beings from the Sirius star system must have brought this marvelous knowledge down to the Africans. I'm and I feel you.